So uh, first, uh, I would like to thank organizers for giving me this platform, being the, I believe, only yeast geneticist in this room. I'm a little bit um, thrilled, but um, I'll try to uh, explain you why yeast geneticists uh, and how yeast geneticists could uh, get involved in um, cancer data analysis and uh, what came out of it. And um, so up a back, uh, so by way of uh, brief introduction and uh, why upper backs are of interest or should be of interest to this uh, group, that uh, upper back enzymes uh, are endogenous strong mutagens in human cancers. This was uh, established through last maybe uh, two or three years by our and uh, others uh, groups' uh, efforts and uh, by just uh, some headlines uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, summary of what is known, biochemistry of these mutagens is very simple. These enzymes take out amino group from cytidin in single-strand DNA, create uracil, and after some DNA repair and replication reactions, it leads to C2T and C2G mutations. And uh, this happens in cytosines preceded by thymine and followed by adenine or thymine, TCW motif. This is known by a chemical specificity for several of us, for a subclass of upper back enzymes. And the gene family of upper backs is extended, but uh, the group, which is called upper back three of closely located uh, genes, uh, <coughs> six out of uh, actually this one and five uh, out of uh, uh <coughs> tightly linked upper back three genes, have this TCW signature, and um, their function is, uh, in at least assigned function, is innate immunity by restriction of retroviruses and retrotransposons. But accidentally, they uh, get access to chromosome DNA and cause hypermutations. Upper back 3B and upper back 3A are current prime suspects, but uh, without going uh, in uh, details, I can say that jur jury uh, is still out. Then uh, another, uh, by way of summary uh, statement, I want to make, uh, to stress again that upper backs are uh, the only known so far strong endogenous carcinogen. And uh, we concluded because uh, uh, from uh, looking at uh, cancer mutations, we see that uh, genes that are important for, uh, ca considered important for cancer mutagenesis are not, is, are not avoided by upper back mutagenesis. It, uh, the analysis is not here, but it's in our paper that was published, uh, now it's about a year ago. And <clears throat> three groups, including us, uh, significantly contributed into this understanding. So uh, uh, the example uh, of why upper back mutagenesis is of interest to TCGA is that uh, uh, it can be really overwhelming, uh, some, at least some cancer types. So black sector is uh, just nine samples of uh, uh, bladder uh, carcinomas that are not enriched with upper back mutagenesis. The rest of 130 samples are enriched, and uh, fold enrichment can, can be up to five-fold uh, as uh, compared to uh, randomly expected, and it could be up to 70% of mutations in the exome with strict upper back, stringent upper back signature. Now, a little bit, so right here, this is the picture of yeast. And this is uh, how uh, we got involved by <coughs> studying some uh, phenomenon, mutagenesis in single-strand DNA that we artificially created in yeast at uh, double-strand breaks, uncapped telomeres, at un and then uh, we moved to uncoupled replication forks, uh, uh, pursuing the hypothesis that uh, this single-strand DNA must be hypermutable. Uh, in response to any kind of DNA damage or to many kinds of DNA damage because uh, lesions in double-strand DNA can be repaired, but they stay in single-strand DNA. And uh, after being restored to double-strand DNA, translesion synthesis, which is often error-prone, creates, and we found it in our artificial systems, mutation clusters. And you see, since the mutagen uh, often has its mutation signature, mutation clusters uh, have uniform mutation signature. In the ideal world, they can be even completely strand coordinated. So this blue can be only mutations in cytosines, for example. And then uh, I kept uh, suggesting uh, people in cancer world, let's look at cancers, let's look at cancers. Maybe there are some clusters there. 
And uh, in fact, it turned out that uh, we should, uh, we were supposed to do, <coughs> we ended up doing it ourselves and found in uh, several uh, whole uh, genome uh, sequenced cancers that there are mutation clusters. So every line here is a mutation cluster uh, formed only by cytosines. And you may see that it's up to 12 kilobase uh, of stretch of mutations only in uh, cytosines. Now, if we look uh, further, these cytosines are preceded by thymines, most of them, and followed by either uh, thymine or adenine, TCW, and more important, and even uh, furthermore, uh, C2T and C2G mutations and very uh, small number of C2A. So it's exact match with this upper back signature. So um, there is something in cancer, uh, in that very cancer that we are looking at, that can make this uh, mutagenesis, and uh, if this mechanism works in clusters, we ask, does it work in uh, uh, the whole cancer exome or genome? So we were uh, going from a specific hypothesis, and uh, we were able to uh, formulate a very uh, stringent statistical hypothesis. And uh, in fact, our paper uh, came in parallel with uh, the paper in breast cancers from Stratton uh, Group. Uh, where they did de novo pattern recognition and came up with uh, mutation signatures that include very, very stringent upper back signature. But these signatures can be uh, identified only in the group of cancers. In our case, we can produce, because the hypothesis is so stringent, and in fact it works all, even for exome maps, we can produce sample specific p-values. and. Uh, uh, it appears at least to me that this may be of value for uh, this community. And uh, importantly, uh, our output enrichment, which uh, uh, sample specific, is uh, perfectly uh, correlating with the output from NMF, from uh, non-negative matrix factorization for groups of cancers. So uh, now, examples of where this sample specific p-values and uh, sample specific uh, upper back annotation uh, can be uh, useful through analysis of TCGA. First, of course, and this is published, we identified that several groups, of, uh, several types of cancer, cervical, bladder, head and neck, breast, and uh, two subtypes of lung, heavily enriched with uh, upper back mutation signatures. So the uh, color code here, always uh, black uh, sector, is uh, Q value uh, uh, greater than 5%. So everything that is not black, Q value, so after multiple uh, testing correction, is uh, uh, more than, uh, less than 5%. Now, we can see the six cancers are enriched. We also uh, found that in some cancers, there are no upper back enriched uh, whole, uh, based on whole genome analysis, but uh, we uh, see that there are mutation clusters which, which are uh, very uh, heavily enriched with upper back. This is why I uh, put this statement that it uh, probably occurs in the background everywhere, but by some reason in some cancers only it uh, goes up, either because there is more mutagen or because there is more substrate for a mutagen, which is single-strand DNA. Our DNA is normally double-stranded and only transiently during repli in, uh, around replication fork or around some unusual uh, events becomes single-stranded. We can uh, also see that some types of cancer, in this case endometrial, have small number of samples that are enriched with upper back mutagenesis. Now let's uh, zoom in. So this endometrial, endometrial carcinomas, um, we see that there are only very few heavily enriched uh, uh, samples with upper back mutagenesis. Uh, and uh, interestingly, and this is unpublished, we just uh, noticed it, that uh, most of them fall into a serous subtype. Uh, and uh, I don't know how much value would we give it, but it's formally statistically significant. Uh, uh, probably it's not enough uh, to make a firm statement. Uh, we need more samples, or TCGA need more samples, but um, this may be really a rare uh, situation or some uh, classification of these uh, endometrial samples. Uh, the, uh, another published result, so when we looked at subtypes of uh, breast uh, cancer uh, from uh, TCGA, uh, marker paper. Uh, <coughs> these are, this is <coughs> these are uh, subtypes based on uh, expression uh, and uh, uh, four subtypes that were uh, uh, 
present in a sufficient uh, amount. So uh, again, when we split this upper back signature by subtype, because we can identify each sample that is enriched with uh, upper back mutagenesis, we see that uh, HER2 enriched or HER2 uh, subtype is, uh, has a higher presence of upper back mutated samples. And um, one more example uh, of a different kind. We can actually uh, separate non upper back mutagenesis from upper back mutagenesis because each mutation we annotate, does it have annotate uh, upper back signature or not? And uh, of course, it would make sense only if a sample is enriched with upper back mutagenesis because upper back signature can. Uh, occur by just random mutagenesis. It's, a, it's just two and a half nucleotides and two out of three uh, base types of base substitutions. But uh, in bl bladder cancer, practically all samples were enriched with upper back mutagenesis. And there was an observation uh, uh, in bladder cancer that uh, ERCC2, uh, an excision repair uh, gene, uh, is one of significantly mutated genes. And at the time of, uh, I uh, entered into, uh, our group entered into uh, bladder cancer um, marker uh, work group uh, late, so uh, we didn't uh, have time to reshuffle on all supplemental information to introduce this analysis. But when we take out, so this is gray part of this diagram, when we take out upper back mutations and leave only black mutations, which are uh, non upper back, then uh, ERCC2 mutated samples clearly have higher mutation uh, uh, <coughs> presence and uh, uh, as cancer uh, biologists call it, higher mutation rate. So uh, this is another utility which uh, we are happy if uh, the community uh, would start using it. And uh, as of our TCG related efforts, we're trying to uh, make input into uh, cancer specific uh, analysis work groups. Now we are uh, working in uh, collaboration with Gadi Getz and uh, Gadi's group to integrate analysis of apoveic mutagenesis the way we see it right uh, into uh, uh, cancer exome math analysis uh, within Firehose and um, to uh, analyze updated and new TCG exomes and maths ourselves or just to provide this for the community. Uh, on, with this, I would uh, actually I want to uh, mention one thing. So, uh, well, being uh, first confused with cancer data, but then uh, getting excited, I realized that um, there is a value of our mechanistic studies that we create stringent statistical hypothesis, uh, the mechanistic field, and uh, it helps to understand mechanisms in, in cancers. But at the same time, it helps us to understand mutagenic mechanisms. And um, uh, what is important that these two fields start speak common language and uh, maybe modify the format and modify the format of questions and data outputs so we, we, we begin to understand each other. The biggest amount of time I spend is to understand what's there in the cancer field because then th things become simple. And to explain because, uh, because I'm explaining in my language and we need just to meet more often and uh, organize merger conferences and on this I would like to end by thanking all my collaborators uh, and uh, in red uh, our collaborators that uh, are <coughs> on our poster and uh, uh, to this specific work. Thank you very much. May I ask a question, please? Yes, please. I'll use the microphone. Yes. So I'm, I'm wondering if you've done any sort of um, co-occurrence analysis with Epobec or mutual exclusivity analysis to see what other aberrations might be occurring with it or not. Okay, so um, the answer is yes and yes. Uh, first, Epobec mutations and mo uh, even more of that Epobec mutation clusters are co-localizing with chromosomal aberrations with breakpoints. Now, uh, there is uh, another uh, angle uh, to the same uh, question. Are there mutations caused by upper back that uh, uh, co-occur? This is an uh, excellent idea because single-strand DNA may be spread all over the genome, but these are small pieces. So uh, co-occurrence would be 
highly uh, likely for some mutations induced by APABEC because it's a small fraction of cell cycle, small fraction of the genome with mutation uh, frequency, mutation density there, 10,000 fold more than in the rest of the genome. So there will be, and uh, I was trying to convince, and uh, one person whom I tried to convince that this is exciting idea is in the audience. We talked today, and um, uh, if somebody else wants to take this idea and try, we are happy to uh, provide annotation of uh, maps by APABEC and APABEC samples. Okay, I'd like to welcome our last speaker of the session, uh, Matthew uh, Wichalkowski from Washington University School of Medicine, and he'll talk about integration of multiple data types for genomic characterization of virus-associated tumors, please.